वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर वीडियोस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम द वेलोसिटी फंक्शन इज गिवन राइट सो इट इज v equals to 60 minus 3t square and this is in meter per second right and it's said that the velocity of a particle traveling in a straight line is given by this where t is in seconds and if s is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 so this means that the at t equals to 0 s not equals to 0 as well right so it is asked that determine the particle's deceleration right so the particle is deceleration so we have to find that deceleration when at t equals to 3 second and it is said that how far has the particle traveled during 3 second time interval and what is its average speed so we have to find all these unknowns so now let's say that that at this point at t equals to 0 s is equal to 0 right so this is s right so s is 0 so i will write s is equal to 0 so to find acceleration what we will do we have this velocity equation so we know that acceleration is dv by dt we will take the derivative of this so the derivative of this will be 6 minus 6t and we want to find the, the deceleration at t is equal to 3 seconds so deceleration at 3 seconds equals to 6 minus 6 into 3 so this is minus 12 meter per second square so this is the acceleration at 3 second right so this is one answer we have to find how far has the particle traveled during 3 second time so now we have this velocity equation so we want to find the position right so velocity is equal to ds by dt and it is given as a function of time which is this 3t square so to find the position equation so we will integrate this so we will integrate this and the s not the s not is 0 and the time is 0 right so we will integrate this from 0 to s and from 0 to t right so this will give us s and if when we integrate this so this will be 6t square divided by 2 Minus 3 t cube divided by 3. So if I simplify this, so then this will be 3 t square minus t cube. So s at 3 seconds, right? So we are asked to find s after 3 second time interval, right? So s is s 3 seconds. Or we can write that this is s 3, and this will be 3 into 3 whole square minus 3 cube. Right, so this is three into nine, so this is twenty-seven, and this is minus twenty-seven. So, as three distance, the position of the particle after three second is zero. Right, so this means that initially at t is equal to zero, the particle was here. Right, the particle was here, and after time interval three second, the particle reached this point again. right so this means that this particle was deceleration then it stopped for a while and then it returned back to the towards left right so first it was traveling towards right and then it was after some interval it was traveling towards the left right so we have to find the time at which it turned back right so at this particular uh, point the velocity will become zero right so when the particle start its motion towards left so at that time the velocity will be equal to zero so now we have this velocity equation this is 60 minus 3t square so now when we take velocity equals to zero so then we will find the time at which this particle will turn towards left right so this is 60 minus 3t square so this means that 6t equals to 3t square right and if we divide both side by t so then this is so t is 6 divided by 3 so this is t equals to 2 seconds so at t equals to 2 second the particle started its motion towards left and before 2 uh, seconds the particle was moving towards right so now we know this t equals to 2 seconds 
So now we want to find the position how much distance is traveled right. So we want to find S2. So we have this equation right for the position. So S2 the position after 2 seconds will be and we will put t equals to 2 in this equation right. So this will be 3 into 2 whole square minus 2 cube right. So this is 3 into 4 minus 8 so this is 12 minus 8 which is 4 right 4 meters so s2 is 4 meters so from this initial point to this point this particle has traveled how much distance so it has traveled 4 meters and after 3 3 second the distance traveled is the position is 0 right so this is the second answer the answer for this one how far has the particle traveled during 3 second time so the particle has traveled 0 meters after 3 seconds right from this initial position and then it further says that what is the average speed right so the average speed so if i write that v speed and this is average so the average speed formula is the total distance traveled so let's say that st is total distance traveled divided by total time right so the total distance traveled by this particle from this initial position and when it returned back to its initial position so this whole distance is the total distance traveled so this means that the total distance traveled is 4 plus 4 so this 4 the distance traveled before 2 seconds towards right and plus the distance traveled towards left right so 4 plus 4 so this as a whole the distance traveled is the total distance traveled is 8 meters right so we will write that this is 8 meters and the total time taken for traveling this 8 meters is how much so it is 3 seconds right so it has it took 2 seconds towards right and then it took 1 second towards left right so we can write here at at t equals to 0 the s naught was 0 and t equals to 3 second again the s was 0 right so we know from this so s3 is 0 right so this means that the total time taken for traveling this 8 meter distance is 3 seconds right so this will give us average speed so the average speed comes out to be 2.67 meter per second so this is the solution of this problem